Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Gumby bringing you a new loot from video. Today we're going to be doing Crystal Triskelions. I had a lot of these stacking up in the bank, so I figured let's uh, let's throw together a video for it. I was honestly curious myself, so uh, let's get into it. The biggest places for me that I've been gathering these lately was Arch Glacor pretty much at the beginning, doing a ton of AFK Glacor uh, in normal mode with one mechanic, and the new Slayer mobs. They drop a ton of them, so... I've really been sacking a lot of them lately. A way to collect them is pretty much through Slayer. Uh, you can get them doing a lot of different things as well. You can get them a traveling merchant. Um, I'll just put this little note up here on the bottom and let you guys take a look at that. But uh, they, they just kind of stack up over time. It's not something you can just acquire quickly. Um, but I do think that killing Arch Glacier in normal mode and doing the new Slayer mobs really helps out in uh, gathering them if that's what you're into. All right, let's show you guys how to get there. The easiest way to do it is via fairy ring if you have them available to you. AJR is the code and it's a quick little run down there. If not, you can always use the Frobnik Providence Lodestone and just kind of run your way over there as well. Once you get here, uh, we're just gonna make our way this way. Here's the fairy ring, uh, code AJR. And then we're right here. My setup currently is I just bring 20 Triss keys with me. Um, you don't need a familiar, but for loot purposes, that's what I'm doing. Uh, they made it so when you open these, you can just hit bank all. But like I said, for tracking purposes, I've just been kind of taking out like the elites and um, banking some of the other things and putting like certain things in here. So here's the total loot after 250 keys. We did end up pulling one dragon hatchet, no dragon stone armor unfortunately and no onyxes either uh we did end up with 27 sinister keys and overall it's pretty good herbs and seeds if uh i mean if, if if you're like an iron man this is just nutty for you no you know it's it's pretty good so as for our untradeables we had 248 elite clues two master clues we ended up with three effigies 27 crystal trisk fragments uh and as for the charms i honestly wasn't tracking it i forgot that was a thing so it is a good fair amount of charms too if you do this if you were to buy these from the traveling merchant uh my recommendation is just don't because i think it's two million per full key which in my opinion just isn't worth it especially if you're only making like 66 per key so if you're in it for the dragonstone armor and really want to get it maybe go for it that way but otherwise i would stay away from it this was a quick one hopefully it was a little informative for everybody i know it was for me I'll definitely be getting around to doing these clues at some point. If I ended up missing anything, please let me know in the comments below and hopefully I can uh, either answer it or uh, we'll get it answered for you. If you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. That's it. Hope everybody has a great week and I'll uh, check you all later.